Hello there, it's the African Chorister and welcome to the third video in this series where I went to the UK for a choral conducting course. So please do consider subscribing and let's get on and watch London together. So I just landed from the plane right now and this is how Heathrow looks like. Heathrow is Britain's busiest airport in terms of flights and passenger numbers. In fact, in 2019, over 80.9 million people traveled through the airport, which is really, really huge. Immediately you land, everyone is always in a rush, everyone is always ready to get to where they go, but the good thing is that the staff serve you quite well and things get finished quite quickly. So it took me about 40 minutes to pass through immigration and security and now go to baggage reclaim. Good morning from Stanmore in London. Yeah, so my host is taking, um, he's bringing the car to the garage, like with gas, gas your aircon or something, because you have a long drive all the way to Kiel couple of hours couple of hours drive um yeah he's an amazing host yeah yeah he's an amazing host um brilliant morning of course weather london is so bad it's so cloudy it's summer it's all cloudy this is where we are. This is London, London, London. Yes. This place is so quiet. Oh my gosh. It's very quiet and chill. Yeah. So right now I'm around I'm outside the Queensbury Methodist Church. And my host does some things here. So I just came to see what it's like. So that's just pretty compact, pretty small. Usually there are not many that many people who go to church in this place. Mumba Kanizauku store. Store. But anyway, this is how the place looks. Currently in Queensbury in London. Queensbury. Queensbury. Somewhere. Queensbury. <laughs> Queensbury. Queensbury. <laughs> Queensbury. We are now in summer. Summer. Oh yeah. We're back after a long walk to the church. Um, to Queensbury Methodist Church. And then went to buy a SIM card. Data. Every time you go somewhere new, you need to have a SIM card in case of anything. You should be able to call people at least. At least people get to you. And then, uh, what else? yeah. So we are back at the garage, checking if he had added the thing to the aircon, fix the car, we'll go back to the house, finish up packing, and then head off. Long drive. See you soon. <laughs> the 
despite the um, not so pleasant weather, England is well known for some amazing views because of that um, kind of weather. It rains a lot, so it's very, very green. So this journey from London to Kew University, which is in Newcastle on the line, is very green. Like every single road trip, um, we did actually stop for some coffee somewhere at a Starbucks along the way, and eventually we did reach. It took it took us about three and a half hours, four hours. Um, but yeah, stay tuned. Watch the next video. It's gonna be amazing. I'm gonna give you a tour of the compass. Look at how green it is. Looks so amazing. And then there are some amazing double decker buses that run around. Um, Stick out to watch this, it's gonna be amazing.